welcome back to my channel. So, uh, yeah, today's video is a little bit different. If you guys have been following my health and wellness journey on my channel for a while, you know that I've been on a journey to get healthier and lose some weight. I've lost right around 80 pounds over the last two years, but one of my biggest goals for why I wanted to get healthier was because my husband and I really wanted to continue growing our family. We have a three and a half year old daughter, Lila, who means the absolute world to us, and we've always wanted a bigger family, but I knew that when we first started talking about having another child like two years ago, um, that my health was not in the best spot to try and get pregnant. I had a pretty rough pregnancy with Lila the first time around, and I knew that working on some weight loss and getting healthier would only benefit me for the second time we tried to conceive. So uh, we were not necessarily trying to conceive right now, but God has bigger plans. It was something we wanted to start trying probably near the end of this year, um, like in the next few months, but so I'm only one day late for my period, but I don't think I've talked about this too much on my channel. That's actually a non-scale, I guess, victory that I have seen in the last two years with weight loss is my entire life, right? I've told you guys this, my entire life I struggled with my weight, with weight gain and loss, and I've always had a very irregular period. Like I'm talking, there were times in my life where I would go months without having one, and I know that it's been my weight that has been a factor in my period being irregular because pretty much like in the last six months, my period has been so regular, like to the day. I've been using the Flow app to track my period since before getting pregnant with Lila, and actually when we we tried getting pregnant with her, I had been on the mini pill birth control for a few years at that point, and I had almost no period at all. So when we got pregnant with her, I actually didn't know. I didn't even take a test and find out until I was almost eight weeks pregnant and started having some other pregnancy symptoms show up. Because I was so used to my period just not coming, I didn't think anything of it the first time I missed it. But this time around, now that I've lost a pretty significant amount of weight, my period has become regularly every single month and I don't know I just have like a feeling I've kind of I don't know I just I've had so many thoughts like the last couple weeks like um I think I think I might be pregnant now that I'm a day late I don't know there's just something inside of me that is like you need to take a test normally I would wait a little bit longer than my first missed day to think of something being up but um I think uh, since I've been tracking in the Flow app, I looked at dates of things and the stars have aligned and it's definitely a possibility. So I picked up a pregnancy test today. Josh is home with Lila right now. I haven't said anything to him obviously yet. Um, I won't say anything until like I know either way, but I left them at home to play while I ran to Target real quick. I needed a couple other random household things. So I picked up a test. So I'm going to go home, put everything away. And then first thing tomorrow morning, I know they always say like, especially if you're super early from your missed period, that testing like first thing in the morning, um, gives a more accurate result. So I'm going to test first thing tomorrow and we're going to find out if we're expecting baby number two. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't believe it. I mean, I am going to be so thrilled if, if this is it, if this is happening. Seriously, all I've worked for the last two years, working on my health, putting so much focus on getting healthier and really working on my wellness to be in a better place to be pregnant and have a healthy pregnancy this time around. I can't believe this might be it. We might be having a second baby. Oh my gosh, I like can't wait till tomorrow morning. Okay, anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have another baby. <laughs> that is no question, two lines. I'm only two days late for my period, but that line was so clear so fast. My heart is like pounding. Um, normally I would wait a day or two and take a test again just to like make sure. It was so clear that first time. I just want to take another one. And to be honest, I might go to Target and get one that like reads pregnancy. <laughs> I, I cannot believe we might be pregnant. Okay, three minutes. Well, that's news for my Fitbit tracker. It's not even two minutes yet.
Oh my God. Okay, three minutes. It's another double line, guys. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I definitely see a double line. So these tests also have an option. I didn't see this the first time. You can download and scan it and it'll do like the same thing where it tells you clear with words, pregnant or not pregnant. So I'm gonna do that real quick in the app. So we stopped at the store and I picked up kosher dill pickles and extra sharp cheddar cheese during my pregnancy with Lila. I would ask Josh to make me cheddar cheese and pickle like little bites. Um, like a little piece of cheese with a little piece of pickle on top as like a little snack all the time. So I hope he's going to get it and I'm going to tell him and surprise him when he gets home with a little snack plate made of cheese and pickle sandwiches. And then I also picked up this lemon poppy seed muffin mix. Um, we're going to make mini muffins out of it. I'm going to make them with Lila this afternoon. But right now at four weeks, our baby's the size of a poppy seeds. Uh, Lila and I were playing at the parks. We had lunch and I just showered, my hair's still wet, but Josh just texted me and he's on his way home early today. So I really quickly made up our little, how, I don't know why, why pregnancy, weird cravings. Um, but I was obsessed with these, like the entire first trimester with Lila. And honestly, as soon as I bought the pickles, my mouth was like watering at the store. So I made up our little, cheese and pickle plate and I'm just gonna like cover it and pop it in the fridge for now. Um, well, then I haven't even made the muffins yet. I don't know if I'm gonna get to that. So I'm gonna put it away and then when he gets home, I'm gonna say, hey, I made this little snack plate. Can you grab it from the fridge and see if he gets it? And I'm gonna film it. I'm gonna try to. He's pretty, he's pretty savvy. I don't know if he'll catch on. <sighs> Guys, <sighs> we're having a second baby. And guys, come on now. I'm like four weeks. Don't read into anything. Our Kroger lets the kids pick out a balloon for free every time they're there. So Lila picked out a blue balloon this time. Foreshadowing, maybe. He's coming in. <laughs> guys, he was on the phone when he came in and he's still on a phone meeting upstairs in the office. He went right upstairs when he got home. So <sighs> I'll have to try again. It's killing me. He's here. He's home. It's killing me. I literally am walking around. So I think we're gonna go ahead and do dinner as soon as he's downstairs. We'll put Lila to bed and then when she's in bed too, because obviously she's three and a half, she's not really gonna get it yet. And I mean, she will, but she's will chat to people. So we probably won't tell her yet. She'll probably know by the time you guys see this video. It's so weird to know that I'm filming this video and you guys aren't gonna see it for like two months, probably. If I can wait that long, it's gonna be so hard. Anyway, okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'll try again. Yeah. No. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my god. You don't like your snack? <laughs> yeah, I know what that snack means. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did you know? Huh? Did you know? I don't know. I don't think so. You're <laughs> pickle cheese. Mm. I just wanna love you, I just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. We're so excited to share this next chapter in our family's journey as we prepare to welcome baby number two this coming May of 2022. Thank you for watching. We hope you'll subscribe to keep following our journey.